Hey everyone, uh, this is a rare video where I'm actually using a microphone, but I just wanted to try to make a quick tutorial on how I make my videos. And I'll just go to this for example. And pretty straightforward, it's just, it's just, um, flash game mu music that is extended to, to loop for ten and a half minutes and it has a title screen for the, throughout the entire video. And... I'm just gonna show my process on how I how I make these. Um, and by the way, I apologize if I start a lot. I'm not I'm not used to making these types of videos. I just want to show how I make these videos, and it's pretty simple. Okay, so I'm gonna use an example from one of my comments. Um, I'm gonna use a comment from Josh Lopez. He requested to do the cloudy flash game. Okay, so the first step is to actually open up the flash game. Okay, so what I like to do is typically use this program called Flashpoint. Um, I'll have a link in the description on how you download that. But I usually like to use this program because it has pretty much almost every single Flash game that you can imagine. Um, it doesn't have every single Flash game in existence because this, this one will hold so much. But it has most Flash games you can search for. So we're going to search for Cloudy. And okay, this is probably the game that the commenter was talking about. And another way that you can open up, open up a game is go to like is to go to a game site like Congregate, and you search it up in the search bar. And if it doesn't open up, or if you can't find it on a game website, then sometimes you have to open up another one. But usually it'll have it here, and you can use Supernova, and that'll act just like Flashpoint. But basically, flat, how how this works is that you just play. It opens up a brand new window, and then the game just op just pops up like that. And you hear music, and pretty simple like that. Okay, so that's the first step. The second step is actually recording or extracting the music files. So one way that you can do this is that you can you can use this program called JPEX Flash Decompiler, and what it allows us to do it it is that it allows us to extract sound files from a game. So Basically, you just open it up and then you scroll down to Flash Player or whatever, or whatever the program is that it that holds a Flash game, and it'll just load up stuff. You usually have to select the one that has the 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 biggest file size right here, and you have to open it up. And then usually there will be a folder called Sounds, and then and then that's where the stuff is going to be. And this is probably the music. And yep, that is. And you just right click and then you do export selection, press OK, and then you just and then you just select what, what folder to do. I just usually save it to, to captures and I press open. And then that'll be in my files right here. And that's where it will be. And it'll save it as an MP3 file. Now the second way that you can do this is kind of weird, and I'm gonna have to show my actual laptop for this one. So one, two, three, boom. This is my laptop. So the second way that you can get game audio is that you can actually record your screen using this little command that I have on my laptop. I'm not sure how many laptops have this feature, but I know that HP laptops have it. So what you want to do is that you want to hold down the Windows key and press G, and then it'll bring up the Xbox game bar. And over here, you'll see that you can actually start recording um, the screen you just press start recording and it'll show right right up there that it's recording the screen and you have to make sure that it's recording this game by clicking on it before before you start recording and it'll start recording the screen and what i usually do is i usually wait 10 and a half minutes or so for the recording just so i have enough um footage to put into editing later and then once i'm done recording i just hit the stop button and then the game clip is now recorded. And the computer usually saves that file to the captures folder, which I have that pinned. Um, it, it usually is in the videos folder. That's where the captures folder usually is for most people. And this is the capture that I just made. Now, obviously this won't be the capture that I will be using. I will probably be using this because it's the, the highest quality. Usually that's, that's the best one to, that you can use. But this is an example. I just wanted to show this off. Okay, now that that part's done, the third step of this entire process is to actually get the title screen, the picture of the title screen. 
um, for editing later. So one of the methods that I use is that I I hold the Windows key and the sh and the Shift key. You can't really see that well, but basically I do Windows Shift and then S. This will bring up a menu where you can screenshot something, and that's not how I want to do that. Whoops, and you just drag the mouse where you want to have the screenshot, and then it'll appear on the right here. You click on it, and then you and then you go to this little icon here, save as, and then you save it to a place like Captures, which I'll save it right there just as just to see. What you can also do is that you can also hold down the Windows key and you can press print screen. I can't really do that because of the, I have to hold my phone right now, <laughs> but that's another way to do it. And then I'll save it to sc screenshots, which is in people's pictures folder right here. Okay, now that that's finally out of the way, we can go back to the screen. One, two, three, and now we're back. Okay. Okay, so we have the music file, we have the screenshot, now it's finally time to edit. So the editing software that I like to use is, is something called OpenShot Video Editor. Um, it's a pretty unpopular video editing software, but this is the one that I typically use because it's super simple. Um, I know that Premiere Pro works just as well, but I think that this is a pretty good one to show just for a tutorial so we're just get we're just getting the sound file and the screenshot and the first thing that you want to do is that you want to see if it sounds good and that sounds pretty good now since this music file is like a single loop file what we want to do is that we want to command c and then command v to paste it over here and then this will make it loop two times so if we do this then we play it here and then it just plays like that and we just keep on copy and pasting copy and pasting okay so now what it, so now what we want to do is that we want to just trim it off so then it so then it ends at 10.5 minutes so we want to make sure it goes to 10 and 30 minutes right here this is around the time where it is and now that the, the music part is sorted out now we have to take the picture and we just have to plop it right here above the music track and then we just stretch it so that it meets the music length and the next thing is that you see how these there's these like black bars right here um we should probably get rid of those so um, the way that you do it here is that you transform, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the same in Premiere Pro, and you just like stretch it so that it fits the screen, and this stretches through the entire screen so it's nothing but the title. So that's how you fill the video with just the title screen, and then you just make sure that, that, these, that these two merge together correctly. And for the music file, I usually like to add a volume fade out. Volume, end of clip, and then fade out slow. And after doing that, the music will now fade out. Just like that. Now, the editing is officially done. So now we're just going to export. We're going to bring that into captures. We're going to title it Cloudy Title Screen Music Extended. And then export video. For a video like this, it usually takes like about like five minutes or so, or it says right here. So I'll be back in two minutes. And okay, it is now exported. So just click done. And now you can see it in whatever folder that you saved it to. So we open it up. Now it sounds like that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna upload this straight to YouTube. So upload video. And we're going to go to captures, click on the same video, title screen, music extended. So what I usually like to do is I like to re reuse the details because it, it takes um, less time to fill in the details. And that's pretty much all I fill out for the description. So we're gonna have to make sure this is not set for made for kids. There we go. We keep hitting next and we do it public and then we publish. And there we go. 
that's the entire process what I, what I go through for each music request okay I hope that was easy to follow um, again sorry I'm not that good at like speaking and doing these tutorials this is this is like my first time doing these types of this type of video and I stutter a lot I'm sorry about that and that's pretty much it I hope this video will be of somewhat use to certain people or something I'll see you guys next time, I guess. See ya.